Okay, today we're going to uh, install GeoIP so we can look up IP address data, uh, specifically the city, and state, country, and even the ASN number of the ISP or big company that actually owns the IP space. So first things first, we need to make sure the machine is updated. Okay, this one is. Now let's see if the package is actually installed. <clears throat> if not, this will install it. And it's already installed. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just grab the actual DAT files. And we get these from a company called MaxMind. Um, maxmind.com and they're nice enough to provide these uh, the geo country light geo city light and the geo IP AS number data and let's see there's three files so we're gonna grab these three files just using wget nothing fancy here Okay, so all the files are here, and you can see right here, and they're in red. <clears throat> so let's uh, unzip those. Now we have three DAT files. So what we need to do is copy those over to the user shared GeoIP directory, which is where this information lives. And then we, we will have these updated with the latest information. Okay, so if we actually do a GeoIP lookup now on an IP address it should give us some information and it does okay right here you can see it's giving us the GOIP country edition and it's telling us it's in the United States the GOIP ASN edition is telling us that it's ASN 63949 which is Linode okay so if we do a GOIP lookup and pass it the geolitecity.dat file as a, a file to look at and give it the IP address. You can see it gives us US, Georgia, Georgia, Atlanta, the zip, Latin line, and um, you know, it's quite a bit of information. Okay, now what we need to do, since that MaxMind data is updated on a regular basis, um, the, a, the ASN and country is updated once a month on the 14th or 15th, and the, the City Light is updated every Wednesday, I believe, or Tuesday. So we're going to set that up. We're going to create a little script, do the updating for us, and then cron it so that it happens once a month when it's, or once a week when it's supposed to. So, step one, let's make sure we got a scripts directory here. And uh, as you can see up there, we don't, so let's make one. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to call the, one of these scripts will be updater.shell. So we'll create that one first. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to paste in what we need to right here since I don't want to be copying all this by hand or by writing it all by hand here we'll just uh, copy and paste so what we can do is first uh, the script is going to CD to the root scripts directory then it's going to wget the two files it's going to unzip the two files it's going to move them over to the GOIP folder and then it's going to remove what it did in the scripts folder now if you'll notice right here on um, we're the copy command we have a backslash and that is to keep the uh, 
copy command from actually overwriting symbolic links. And in that directory, there are some symbolic links associated with these files that we do not want to overwrite because it could break things down the road. So let's save this file. All right, now let's go ahead and create the other one. And this one is going to be updater-asn.shell. All right, inside this guy, we're going to put in this data. Uh, same thing again, except we're just dealing with just the one dat file. And again, we have uh, this backslash in front of copy command to keep it from overwriting symbolic links. All right, now we did those, uh, and we need to put them in the scripts folder, so let's move them over there. And we should have them in there. Yep, now we need to make sure that those are executable, so... to a chmod plus x on the updater files and we're good to go all right now we have to edit cron tab to actually kick this off so cron tab minus e all right and what we're going to do is we're going to input i'm going to copy and paste it in here just to make life easy All right, so the first line is going to be for the first updater script. It's going to run at one minute after three on the 15th of the month, every month, every year. And it's going to go to root scripts updater.shell and execute it. The next line is going to execute at one minute after four um, on the third day of the week. Okay, and it starts with zero, so zero was Sunday, so three would be Wednesday. So this is updated every Tuesday, so it's safe to assume that on Wednesday we should be good to go to download the fresh copy. Okay. Now we need to actually set this up where we can use it. So let's actually exit out of root here and back to uh, our user. And who are we? Okay, this is me logged in here, so I do not have a scripts directory, so we should create one now, because anytime we make tools like this, we want to put it in a scripts directory, so we know where it's at. All right. Now let's create a, we're going to create a couple of files in here. One's going to be a script, and the other one is going to be an input file for the script. So we'll do the script first. And it's going to be pretty simple. All right, we're going to call it IP info. In this, we're going to paste in this right here. It's pretty simple. While read. P, which is going to be the IP that comes in on one per line off our IP list. Then we're going to do, we're going to echo that IP, which is this variable string P. We're going to then do a GeoIP lookup on string P. Then we're going to pipe that to awk. We're going to tell it that the field separator is a colon. Then we're going to print field 2. Then we're going to do the second command, GeoIP lookup dash F and use the GeoLite city data. We're going to pass it the IP, which is string P. We're going to then pipe that to awk and wash, rinse, repeat. And then we're done. And then this piece right here is where we actually feed the IP list.txt into the script. So now we need to create that, that IP list. Okay, so in here, I'm just going to put in a couple of IPs real quick. Um, and 
and we'll put in one more. We just need two. All right, that's all we need for right now. But you could put in as many as you need here. I mean, literally, it could be 10,000 if you like. All right, let's do a change mod on IP info. Give it execute permission. Okay, and then that's what we have in this folder. We have an input file, which is ip-list.txt, and then we have the actual script. So now if we actually execute that script, you'll notice it gives us some nice formatted output. Okay, remember here we, uh, we had like the uh, version of the DAP file in front of each one of these. We've stripped all that out now and just given the data we need. We've printed the IP above it and then we have a nice you know, flow of data here and it did it for both IPs. So this is a really good uh, script to use. Let's say uh, you have um, the firewall team at your work comes in with 40 IPs and wants to know information on them so you guys can send you know, uh, cease and desist letters because they're beating on your firewall. This is a quick way to grab that information out. And of course you would use this in conjunction with say Whois and Dig and NSLOOKUP and, and other tools like that which we'll get into in later videos. Okay, I've put some links in the notes below to uh, things I referenced in the video that might be helpful. Some of these are affiliate links and help us to keep the site going. If you have any questions about the content, feel free to ask in the comments below. I hope you found this, useful, this video useful, and if you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, please subscribe to my channel. See ya!